Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a recreation video. I haven't done one of these in so long. And I saw this look that Patrick Ta did on Alex Earl and I was waiting for the tutorial. It finally dropped on TikTok. So we're gonna follow along with that tutorial to recreate the look that he did. I love this makeup so, so much. I cannot wait to put it on my face. To try my best to recreate it, I thought Alex looked so beautiful in this look. We will also be using all the products he used on her for this look. So it's basically a full face of Patrick Ta, minus a couple of things that I can't use because I'm sensitive to or that aren't available yet <laughs> to purchase. So it's gonna be a good one. If you really like that look, this video is for you. Or if you enjoy me recreating other artists' makeup looks, then here's another one for you as well. These are some of my favorite videos to film apart from Sephora hauls. I love doing recreations. I feel like this is what I'm good at. So I'm going to try and recreate this the best that I can on me. And hopefully it looks just as good on me as it does on her. <laughs> Cause I love his style of makeup and I just, I love everything about the blush. I feel like for this look, I picked up the lipstick. I picked up a couple of products I didn't already have. So we're set and ready to go. I'm gonna jump right into this tutorial. He's I did one eye off camera following the tutorial and I'm gonna show you how to create Patrick's look that he did on Alex. And I also did my brows using the Patrick Ta brow lamination and the eyebrow pencil in medium brown. Favorite color for eyebrow pencil. And I did try and do them a little bit larger cause that's what he has done on Alex and give it that laminated look. Typically I do mine a little bit smaller and more filled in now, but I'm gonna show you how to create the look. It's really easy to do. He basically just goes down the row. He doesn't use these top two, but he starts at this shade right here. And Patrick puts that all over the eye. He doesn't focus too much on the crease. It's just a one and done shade leaves a little bit in the inner corner, as you can see, of just bare lid and blends this. So I'm just going to keep building this up until I get my desired intensity because Alex does have this fairly dark on the lid. I had to go dip in a few times to get it to the color that she has. So we just wanna get it one tone all over the lid. You can bring it into the crease but we're not creating too much depth there because all the focus is on that outer corner as you can see. Patrick wanted to do a feline look on Alex. That's what he said in the beginning. So he really focused it on that outer corner. This next part, he says something, but I can't understand what is being said. And all of a sudden it goes a little bit darker. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the next shade down, which is here. And we're going to put that just in this section of the eye, keep it fairly low. You don't wanna bring it high. This is where he starts creating the shape and the depth. So it looks like he just kind of stamps it on. It's unblended for a sec. And then he goes back in with this brown right here and he starts to deepen it further and blend it out. It's a really simple, quick look. And I always like to go back in with that first brush. Just further blend out any harsh edges. And I just go back to the first shade we used. He doesn't show he does this, but I just find it helps with the blend or this edge right here. Then further creating that feline shape, he goes in with the cream next on a brush that looks similar to this. He says he starts blending, but I wouldn't go too hard with this because I get lifting if I put a cream eyeshadow on top of a powder. So I just go very slow pack it on and just lightly start to blend this out. You do not wanna to add too much pressure in this step, else you could do a lot of lifting. So Alex has much rounder eyes, so the shadow looks slightly different on her, the shape I feel. Mine are smaller, so I just did it to flatter my eye shape. So I do have that cat eye shape going and I'm going to quickly curl my lashes. Alex uses the waterproof mascara from Too Faced, the Better Than Sex waterproof. I'm gonna apply a coat of that. Looks like she's obviously wearing some falsies, some half lashes. They look like our Dell Wispies that I always use. <laughs> so I'm gonna apply those after I'm done curling my lashes, my mascara. Then miraculously, she has foundation on. Before I do that step, her eyes just look way bigger. Almost looks like a faux cut crease. So I'm gonna use one of his lighter shades. He doesn't show he does this, but it looks like that from the picture. And I wanna just try and match the picture 
to what she looks like because if I just followed his steps, it doesn't look as defined as it does in the video. So I wanna just create that look. Taking a shadow brush, I'm just going to lightly put the lightest color just in the inner part of the eye just to create kind of that faux cut crease that I see. It's just really bright in that inner corner and my eye isn't looking like that right now. And that's the best I could do on my eyes. She just has more rounded eyes than me. So we are going to move on to the foundation now, which she already has on. Assuming he used his Patrick Ta, I personally can't use that because I did a review on it. And unfortunately there's an ingredient in that that I'm sensitive to and burns my skin. So I'm gonna have to use something else for the complexion, but I will be using other products that he does use. Instead of just skipping the complexion, I'm gonna show you little clips of what I'm using. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way 24 Hour Matte Foundation. She has a flawless face, so I'm going to achieve that. She also has freckles, which I do wanna put on my face as well. I know she tends to add hers in. They look fairly natural here that they're just hers, like she didn't add them in, but I'm gonna add in some for this look as well. Starting off with the foundation, I'm just going to take a BK Beauty 101 brush and apply this all over the face. My face is already prepped and ready to go. I'll have everything listed below that I use. This foundation though is pretty good on its own, even if you didn't prep your skin. For me, I actually do have quite a few freckles on my nose. That's where I tend to freckle. So I'm just going to accentuate those a little bit more. And I do have a blemish that I'm just gonna work in to be a freckle as well. Perfect spot for it today. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need to touch up my brows at the end. Foundation is on. This is the most flawless foundation you'll ever use. If you have pores or texture, I just feel like this is my perfect for glam makeup go-to. I've gone through countless ones of this. For sculpting the face, they just show the cheekbones and he uses She Sculpted and She's Bronze. I just have She Sculpted and I will do a little bit of powder with my MAC Give Me Sun if I need to get to the warmth that she has for her complexion. I'm just gonna start off with the one that he has. I don't need to do both. I do have also the sculpting brush. So I'm gonna use that to carve out the cheekbones as he's doing in the video. Someone's actually holding her head. I don't know if it's her hair, but we're just gonna start to sculpt everything out. Just starting off with the cream there, and then it also skips to being concealed. And I'm going to use the Makeup by Mario concealer for this step. Patrick doesn't have a concealer yet, does he? That's next on his list. I'm going to conceal down the nose like he does, and then all the way up between the brows. And then she has a line out under and out under here. He does eventually add more concealer. I'm just starting with the placements that he has. Maybe they were just talking and not done yet because more does appear. So this is a considerable amount of concealer than I typically use, but we're going to try the placements that he has on her. And then again, it's magically blended out. And I'm just gonna use my Makeup by Mero F1 brush and start to blend out this concealer before it dries down. Makeup by Mario is self-setting, so I gotta work fast. After doing my foundation, I keep forgetting I need to fix up my brows because they've moved a bit, but I'm convinced that Makeup by Mario concealer is magic. I just love how it looks on my complexion. It is so good. Next, I've been wanting this brush he's using for his cream blushes, but it's not in stock on Sephora. I don't know if it ever came in stock on Sephora Canada because I've been waiting. I'm signed up for notifications, but it has not come in. For blush, it's fairly heavy and it's concentrated a lot on the apples of Alex's cheeks. And it's in the shade She's Blushing, which I have right here. So I am going to see what he did. I think he went in with the cream. Yes, he went in with the cream. I'm just using my F1 until Sephora gets his brush in stock. And I love this color on her skin tone. Then using She Sculpted and Patrick's contour brush, they go ahead and contour her nose. And I love this brush too. I know she comments on it, how she doesn't have it and he gave it to her after this video. It is so good, so easy to use for contour. I love how it's shaped because you can really just easily connect it into your eye, make it for a seamless nose contour. I feel like he heavily contours at this upper section. Granted, Alex and I have different noses, but I just wanted to try it out. 
So in this step, she looks like she's already set because all the shine has been taken away. So I'm going to take the time to set my face because I do not see him doing that. And my eyes personally need to be set. I know this is self-setting concealer, but I like a little bit of powder. I'm not sure what they use to set her, but she's clearly set. So I'm going to take a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury powder. This is the fair one. Let's just set underneath the eye. Then for the rest of the face, I'm just going to take my one size powder and set the rest of the face. Her under eyes look brightened with a slight pink blending into that blush. Just going to further brighten this up just with the light pink powder. Now that everything is set, he goes back in with a brush like this and the cream shadow and runs it underneath her eye. He does it a little over halfway, it looks like, but concentrated mostly on the outer and then blends it in. It does look to me like he set it with something. It doesn't look like it's just the one shade. I'm going to just set this with some powder, one in his palette. When did I make myself bleed? Then it skips again. She has some brightness in her waterline, as well as a little bit of mascara on her lower lashes. Now they go in with a little bit of bronzer to warm up the skin. I don't ever see them put anything really anywhere but her cheeks. So we will keep it like that. And then after that, they go in with She's a Doll, which is one of my favorite blush colors, if not my favorite, that Patrick Todd does. So I'm gonna take a bit of that and they do it lightly to amp up the blush. And it also gives a little bit of a glow because it's the cream. Before we move on to the lips like they do, I'm just going to quickly fix up the brows. Then her lips are already defined before he goes in with the lipstick. I'm just going to guess what he used. I have the Patrick Ta Precision Lip Crayon in She's Strong. I've never tried one of his lip liners before. So I purchased this. Hopefully it's the right color. I'm just trying to assume what he used. And we're going to line the lips with this. That was fairly easy to use and I really like the color of that. It's different, the shape of it, but I found I was able to create a nice line with that. And then I also picked up the lipstick he's using. It's in the shade Blushing. And this color is so beautiful. It has that suede lipstick finish, which I've seen on Gucci, now this one. And there's a couple other brands that do this sort of finish. It's really nice. So now he just does this dabbed in the center. Feels really creamy. Then to finish off the lip, they do a little bit of gloss that hasn't released. My Clarins Lip Oil kind of matches the color. So I thought this would be the best bet to use. I'm gonna put a little bit on the center like he does. Then to complete the look, I will be doing some faux freckles just to bring mine back and to tie in with how Alex's looks. And I know she does the faux freckles all the time, but hers and that look real. So I'm just going to start by dotting these on and then I pick it up with my finger and just start pressing them in elsewhere. And then it also blends in those. That's it for the makeup. I'm gonna quickly give my hair a little bit of a wave like Alex does, come back, and I will show you the finished look. I am back. This is the completed makeup of my recreation of Patrick Ta's makeup on Alex Earl. As of right now, this is the most recent makeup he has done on TikTok on Alex Earl. As soon as they posted little teaser videos together, I knew I had to recreate it. I loved this makeup so much on Alex. I love how he did her eyes and blush. I think it's so pretty in the tones that he used on her. I wanted to see how it looked like on me. I love the makeup apart from, I'm not a personal fan of the really bright water lines on me for whatever reason. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I just, I like a brown in my waterline if I were to put something in there. Is anyone else like that? <laughs> for the brighter waterline, I just don't think it looks right on me for whatever reason. But other than that, I love the makeup. As I said, I love the tones he used on her and I just think the overall outcome is so beautiful what he did. So I had so much fun recreating this. This is a full face of Patrick Ta pretty much. And I've always wanted to do one of those videos as well, so. Really had fun filming this makeup look and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you have not subscribed already, I'd love for you to do so by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell to be notified of all my future videos, and I will see you guys in my next one.